hi guys welcome back to my channel if this is your first time here my name is Mika I make videos on lifestyle in Canada I talk about the good the bad the ugly and everything in between so please if this is your first time don't make it your last subscribe join the family okay and if you're a returning subscriber thank you so so much I appreciate your love and your support so without further ado I'm going to get into the video for the day <laughs> we're going to be talking about non-tech um, high paying jobs in Canada and um, what I'm going to be saying is I'm going to be talking about the title of the job I'm going to be talking about the hourly pay I'm going to be talking about the duties so that I can have a good idea on which one would work best for you so before I get into the video let me just kind of provide a foundation for this so as many of you know i've been in canada for a couple years and um i think this is similar for many people who are coming into canada as immigrants um, i think for students in this way it's easier because you come in you do a course and most times when you're done with the course you kind of follow through or you when you're done with your program you kind of follow through that when you comes to getting a job because I think even to get like your PR is either you're doing something within the role or you like you have a manager's position um, so I think it's easier for students in this way to kind of know what they want to do in this country at least for the most part like when they're starting but for those of us who came to Canada as workers sometimes it's really difficult to know what to do <laughs> so um, just a little background about myself I studied law back home in Nigeria and the thing with programs like that or careers like that or professions or whatever I want to call them is they are highly regulated like they are highly regulated I can't just come into Canada and start practicing law so it's like I have to go through some courses I have to take some licensing programs stuff like that um, unlike someone who studies for example computer science like computer science for the most part is almost the same everywhere so what you are doing for example in a country like Nigeria you could easily replicate here that's not the same with law so for me when I came in or since I've been here I've done different things I've kind of had to put my hands in different things and the truth is I did not intend to practice law here so I didn't even know what I wanted so it's like I had to do different things and now I'm starting to like figure out what I really like and I feel it's same for everybody regardless of where you're coming from sometimes you're not too sure what to do and the truth is somebody else may tell you oh this is a really good career here and then somebody else has a story of someone who didn't do well in that career so many times you're just confused like what do I do what would be the best fit for me um, and then also in a different country like you're trying to just move around everything so that's the reason why I've created this video to kind of help with that um, before I get into the details of it disclaimer I'm not a career coach or anything like that but I'm just saying this as someone who has kind of had to experience like jumping off different rules and now finally kind of circling in on what I think would be best for me so I've had friends who have come into Canada asking the same questions like oh my god what's the best job to do like where can I make good money and all of that and the truth is it's different for everybody so the five um, professions I'm going to be talking about today they are good paying roles in Canada they are programs that if you're not licensed to practice you can take a course within a year or a year and a half and get licensed to practice them and they pay well so you could have a traditional work experience or like work let me say work experience like in an establishment and for most of these roles you can also have it for yourself so I think it's a big good balance like if you want to work a traditional 9 to 5 or not you have that option so without further ado I'm going to get into the video so the very first one I'm going to talk about is dental hygienists I've never done this before but when I came into Canada initially I was considering doing it um, the great thing about this is the pay is quite good in Ontario that paying somewhere around $30 to $48 in Ontario and then Canada wide um, that paying somewhere around 
$30 to $55.83. I got these numbers or the amounts from um, the job bank. So, and the source is the labor force survey by Stats Statistics Canada. So I'm actually giving you something that the government has said is the range so in ontario is 30 to 48 dollars and canada wide depending on province and where you're working is somewhere around 30 dollars to 55 dollars 83 cents which i think is good pay and the good thing about this is like i said before if you don't have the license for it if you've never done it before you could take a course for like a year to a year and a half to get licensed to do it or for a longer period right but the option is there and of course if you're in the country you may have access to you know government um, financial assistance to help you for the duration of your program um, basically what dental hygienists do I don't know if like if you've gone to like a dentist office most times are the ones who help with cleaning your teeth taking out the plague and the stains and all of that they also do the x-rays for your teeth um, just to see what's going on there so they take and they develop the x-rays and they also access like your oral health and make report findings and all of that um, the good thing about this is you could work in a dentist office you could have um, uh, you could work in a private clinic you could work in a public health place you could work in educational institutions the options for it are endless like there are many opportunities for it and the pay is very very good one good thing I really like about this is especially because like when people are working they have that access to dental so half the time you usually have clients coming in because even if they pay the money they're going to get the money back if you get what i mean so dental hygienist is the first one and i think the pay is very very good let's get to the second one second one i'm talking about today is one that is quite dear to my heart this is massage therapy um from what i understand and please if i'm wrong please correct me i believe only two provinces in canada have made this something that you have to be licensed to practice so that is ontario and bc in ontario and bc you need to be licensed to practice massage but in other provinces not necessarily um so basically what massage therapies do is they access the soft tissues and joints of the body to treat and prevent dysfunction injury pain or physical disorders so the good thing is um and massage therapy is wide so you could work with pregnant people you could work with athletes because it has a lot to do with like the soft tissues of the body you know like the muscles and all of that so that's what massage therapies do um the wage according to um, the one that was on the job bank provided by statistics canada is um they gave a yearly amount so they said yearly is from thirty thousand eight hundred and forty seven dollars to sixty two thousand four hundred but the report that was there was for 2021 so i decided to get more information from more recent um statistics so i according to glassdoor the average salary for a mass registered massage therapist um, is 87,347 per year and according to indeed.ca they earn about 58.86 dollars per hour within the gta so this depends on the province and like i said especially because it is um, licensed or regulated in just like two provinces um it would differ by province to province but um trust me they don't get paid small money so just to kind of give my own personal opinion about this i know that most times when people are paying for massage i think the cheapest one i've seen within the gta was like 90 dollars people pay well over 250 dollars per hour for a massage so massage therapies make a good amount of money uh, massage therapists can work with a right wide range of people they can work in hospitals they can work with athletes they can work in 
clinics they can have their own private practice so sometimes you see situations where people are, are like mobile massage therapists they drive to your house they give you a massage they get their money so there are a wide range of options here the good thing with this is you could also take a program for like a year to a year um, six months or a long, longer program as the case may be to be licensed to practice as a massage therapist but I think this is also a good option especially if you're not like a traditional nine to five or if you want to if you're a free spirit like me that wants to have like you know freedom to do all that stuff and all of that because this life is not that deep okay this is something else you could consider third thing I'm going to talk about is occupational therapist and um, the bit I know, I don't know too much about this, but the bit I know is they develop intervention programs to address clients' needs um, related to like self-care, work and leisure activities. They also establish like personalized care plans um, for teams basically. Um, this you could also take classes for and get trained in it. I'm not too sure how long trainings for this take but I know that they end somewhere around $30 to $50.39 according to labor force survey by Statistics Canada so if you're looking to you know do something there's no charge now 9 to 5 I'm not too sure if there's the option to have private practice for occupational therapist if somebody knows a little bit more about this please let me know but that's also another option that you could explore the third option is osteopath manual therapy please if i'm pronouncing it wrongly please let me know funny enough i found out about this um when i was trying to look for a course and stuff like that but um but basically what these people do is they advise um they assess patients and advise them on treatment of conditions like arthritis asthma skin disorders stomach ailments and all of that and they may sometimes cultivate herbs and manufacture or sell herbal compounds um, according to the 2021 census um, by statistics canada the end somewhere around so this is also an annual amount thirty thousand eight hundred and forty seven to seventy six thousand five hundred according to indeed.ca the end somewhere around fifty thousand to a hundred k every year according to talent.com the end somewhere around sixty seven thousand five hundred per year or $34.62 per hour um, and then they say entry po entry positions are somewhere around $57,000 um, per year while more experienced and somewhere around $124,143 per year sorry if you see me looking down it's because I have the numbers I don't want to say anything wrong but basically that's how much they earn this you can also just take like a course for one year or so to get trained to practice this and i think this is also really a great option for someone who wants to have a bit of flexibility and all that stuff last but not least and this is something that is also very very dear to my heart is lash and nail um technicians Oh my god, as someone who does her nails quite regularly from time to time, I'll say time to time because it's so expensive, or her lashes from time to time, I can tell you guys that these people make a lot of money. Um, so basically what they just do is they apply like false lashes, like individual lashes, or they get your nails done, that's what they do. And <laughs> these ones don't even charge by the hour per se because sometimes they will charge you for by the hour and then they are done in like 40 minutes or they may charge you I don't know if you get what I mean so they make a good amount of money as somebody who puts on lashes I can tell you that if you're trying to get something as light as this which they would probably call classics it will cost for someone living in the GT it costs somewhere around a hundred dollars to a hundred and maybe ten twenty dollars just to get this done sometimes it takes them within an hour or less than an hour to get this done um for nails if you're just getting basic nails it's somewhere around like maybe 60 dollars 
to just get nails done so i know they get paid very very well you could go to um you could you don't need to go to a traditional school you can just take a couple like a couple courses with an with any of the schools where you can learn how to get this done and before you know you're earning your coins the good thing about this also is the fact that you can work with somebody or you could have your own personal practice and have the freedom to do whatever you want um, according to statistics Canada they earn somewhere around $47 to $27 4 cents per hour but with many of the large texts I really tell you I can tell you that I believe they earn a lot more than that um, while the recruiter says the average is around $22 per hour which should be $46,346 per year or top, top earners are earning somewhere around $37 per hour or $77,500 annually and I can tell you I believe they earn a lot more because I've had some good conversations with um, my lash and new techs and I can tell you that many of them <laughs> earn more than that per hour depending on you know how busy it is in the day and all of that so basically just to run through them real quickly the first one I spoke about was dental hygienist second one was massage therapist or RMTs that's registered massage therapist third one I spoke about was occupational therapist fourth one I spoke about was osteopath manual therapy and the last one is nail and lash technician so I believe this is like these are definitely five that you can consider if you're coming into Canada newly maybe you're not really built for the 95 that tech world is not for you and you're looking for ways where you can make money and just live the life that God has called you to live okay if you guys want me to talk more about this please leave comments in the comment section down below if there's anybody who is a subscriber who is currently doing any of this please leave your comments let us know what your experience is like is it good is it not good if there's anybody in any of these fields who thinks I have misyand please let me know and leave your comments in the comment section down below I appreciate you guys so much please if you're not following me on Instagram I am taking God to beg you please in the name of God God, follow me on Instagram okay because I'm back on the social media platforms I'm going to bring you the energy in this year 2024 we're going to be growing we're going to be getting better and better and I want to bring you guys along with me I thank you guys so much for your love and your support thank you for always being here if you have any questions please DM me on Instagram my handle is at living on Mikali com <laughs> is at living underscore mikali and um you can also leave a comment in the comment section down below as well if you have any questions i appreciate you guys for your love and your support and i'll see you guys in my next video bye guys